Hi guys, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, this time I'm going to discuss about mall culture, shopping mall culture in Kuala Lumpur. KL people are crazy about malls. Seriously, especially my Chinese friends. Uh, on weekends, they go full force to the mall. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it's very unique. In, I think it's very unique because I have friends who are I've been to to the states. I've been to UK. UK doesn't have a mall culture. US have a mall culture, but KL has this. It's so extreme. You can see that their whole family goes there. Their whole grandparents. Just, I don't know. I don't know why. But they do. The uh, mall culture is very popular in uh, in my country, in Kuala Lumpur, especially in Kuala Lumpur. So, and uh, I'm gonna share with you uh, the best for me, to me, the best and the worst mall in Kuala Lumpur. And I'm gonna start with the worst. The worst mall for me is uh, Mi Valley. I'm gonna give you a reason why I think it's the worst mall in in Kuala Lumpur. I think one of the worst mall. It is because the mall, the, the Mid Valley is certainly one of the largest, certainly one of the largest, Mid Valley is one of the largest, but it is packed to the brink. So many people, I mean that's okay lah, I mean so many people, but man, this is what worse about that, the parking space of that mall, there's not enough, there's not enough parking space at Mid Valley and I have seen people trying to find parking lot, parking space there for 30 minutes just going around the parking area just to find a place to park. It is such an impractical mall but regardless of that, a lot of people still go there. That's how crazy KL people are. They just they love it even though it's torture to find parking. Is this in an island in the middle of a uh, highway to go there the, you have to go by car you can't walk there is a lot in Bangsa but to walk there you, it's not practical you have to take a cab and the cab they charge whatever they want and so you need to have a car to go to Mid Valley you know but then if you have a car you need, it's crazy to park so it's just a no win win situation for me Valley la. Alright? So Mi Valley is one of the worst malls in KL. If you come to KL, people ask you to go to Mi Valley. Unless you're planning to do some shopping because they have a lot of shopping shopping place there, a lot of shops to go. They have expensive shops, they have uh, mid-range shops, so you have a lot of choices in Mi Valley. Still I wouldn't I wouldn't advise if you have the other transportation, I wouldn't advise against it. I try to avoid it unless I, I can. So that's me, Valley, one of the worst mall thing to me, one of the worst mall. Second place in one of the worst malls in uh, Kuala Lumpur. Actually, it's not in Kuala Lumpur, but it's on the outskirts of Kuala Lumpur. One Utama Mall, which is near Tamantun. And it is one of the worst more for me uh, because it's it's also packed to the brink uh, there's no doubt about that it's so packed but the worst I think the worst part of it is that the parking the parking space there's not enough parking space and um, it's just an insane drive to go all the way to one Utama even to enter the the shopping mall you're not you're in your car you want to enter the parking mall it's hell but not for me i really 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 avoid it if i could so yeah me valley and one utama it's just a just crazy mall seriously crazy or uh, the middle the middle middle ground middle ground is like it's okay it's a good mall is this is not the perfect mall the Sunway Pyramid which is a uh, build like a pyramid yeah, I'll tell you why I think it's good and bad the good part of that mall it, it's close to Sunway Lagoon it's just 
just right beside Sunway Lagoon. So if you come with your family, you want to chill in the, in the, you know, chill in the, in the, one of the best park, one of the best recreational park in KL, it is Sunway, Sunway Lagoon. You got even a skating ring inside there. So it's quite interesting place. Uh, it's just near Sunway Lagoon, which is quite, it's quite a good place to rest and relax if you have the money. Let's go to the good side of the malls. The good side. The good malls. The good malls, in my opinion, in Kuala Lumpur, the, one of the best malls is Garden. Now, before you say angry things about me, to me, the gardens, is their full name is Garden Mid Valley. The reason is because it is just besides Mid Valley. And I, you know, the complaint was Mid Valley was horrible and stuff like that, and blah, blah, blah. A lot of people, uh, and parking is difficult and stuff like that. Um, which is true about Mid Valley. But the worst place to go, if you're heading there anyway, is the gardens. The gardens is a beautiful mall to me. It's not packed. Strangely, Mid Valley will be where you find the people go. But the garden is not packed. Uh, because I think some of the shops are expensive, they are more high class shops. But I like I like the fact that it's not packed. And you can get parking in downstairs, down in the in the basement, you can get parking there. Uh, if you go early or something like that. It's different. Even though they are the same land as Mid Valley, I don't know why, but it it has a much better vibe than Mid Valley, and the shops there are more are nicer. Uh, yeah, it's just a classy place. Uh, even the cinema there is one of the best. Cinema, they have the one of the best cinemas in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, which I think I like to go to. If I if I were to go there to Mid Valley, oh for God's sake, I, I try not to think about that. But if I end up there, I rather go hang out in the garden, which I do. Which I, I, I sometimes just it's worth it just to take a drive to go to the gardens, hang out at the cinema. The cinema is one of the best in KL. A bit expensive, but one of the best. So that's that's a good mall, the uh, Garden Mid Valley. Uh, second good mall, I think is KLCC, KLCC Surya. I mean, if you've been, I work in K, near KLCC Surya, and I have to say that KLCC Surya is one of the best mall in KL. And uh, for the same simple reason, it's not bad. And I, I think one of the biggest strength of KLCC is they have an easy access. You can go to KLCC via LRT. For those who doesn't know, LRT is the uh, transport uh, monorail transportation that you have in in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, they have a, a LRT station beneath uh, KLCC, which I think is quite quite amazing. Uh, it has a good, beautiful park, but it's useless because people don't hang out in the park because it's so hot. I mean, we're in Malaysia; you don't want to hang out in the park because it's so blistering hot so you go back in the mall to enjoy the air condition beside the LRT which is one of the biggest perks is KLCC the Kinokuniya they have a great bookstore on level 4 which I think is amazing Kinokuniya bookstore which is my favorite bookstore now time for my I think the bigger the best mall in <laughs> in Kuala Lumpur I think the best Ready for it? The best mall in Kuala, in Kuala Lumpur I mean it's, just, it's actually really, it's actually not in Kuala Lumpur but it's in outskirts is the Curve It is one of the best mall in Kuala Lumpur and I will tell you why One of the reasons which is why it is such a good mall it is the parking, the parking I mean I know the people say oh is there no, it's one of the easy to get access Easy to park. Uh, you, you will. You, the chances of getting a parking there is high. Uh, curve is amazing. I uh, I go to the area where they have the cinema, where they have the KT cinema there. 
which is the, that whole building and then you have the bazaar on weekends they sell trinkets and the best restaurant let me just say to you the best collection of restaurants in one place is the curve everything you want everything you want to eat is there yet it's not overcrowded amazingly it's not as overcrowded as mid valley and uh, it has an open area which is where you, they put, have the bazaar the parking space is abundance you have uh, IKEA stuff like that nearby and the cinema is uh, mega cinema TG, I mean Kate but it's always a great place to go not a lot of people it's not overcrowded so you want to hang out there is one of I say you can hang out there in peace uh, surprisingly it is not overcrowded like I say on weekends where Mid Valley is up to the brink one Utama is extremely up to the brink uh, you get you know KSC is okay but the food there I mean things they are expensive and then you know you got the garden the garden is you can't spend money there so it's a bit expensive but the curve is to me one of the best mall in Kuala Lumpur because it has everything it has expensive places to go it have a cheap cheap places to go I like that area I like it on weekend it's just cool place to hang out you have a bazaar there if you, you want to buy trinkets and you have a lot of good store a good cinema area um, and easy to park there's a lot of spaces to park your car and stuff like that and it's I like it so that's it that's you there you go my my list of uh, worst middle of the road and best malls in Kuala Lumpur I know it's gonna be a bit long-winded but thank you for watching guys